Now following on from the last video where we corrected the speed of the jump, what we need to do now is to fix the animation of when we jump because of course when we jump this little monkey's legs are moving and his arms are moving. It doesn't quite look like a correct jump. And if we go back to stencil and take our monkey's animations in the appearance, you can see that we've got a run left and a run right, but we've also got a jump left and a jump right, which are really good animations or they'll look really cool once they're working. So let's go back to the events and just figure out what's happening. Again, let's talk through what the monkey has to do. So when the jump happens, you're pressing left or right. So as you're pressing left, you press up and the monkey jumps up. So we really need to think about where we're going to put this. So of course, we've already switched that animation to run left when we press left, run right for when we press right. So we already know how to change the animation depending on what we're doing. So in this case, of course, we are going to need an if we again are going to need a switch animation, which is in the actors and draw. We need to switch an animation to jump left. And of course we need to just duplicate that. And we need an animation for jump right. So of course the question now is, when do we switch the animation to jump left or jump right? So in other words, what if are we going to use? What are we going to check to see if he's jumping? So let's just figure this out again. So when he's running, he's on the floor, which means he's touching the floor. When he's jumping, he's not touching the floor, which means our touching floor attribute is set to false. Now this is a really important attribute that we've used again and again. And you're noticing that a good attribute can really help you in your game. So let's think about that again. So if and we have to again go to our flow, pick up two equals, like so. We're going to go to our attributes, pick up our touching floor attribute here and here. And we're going to say that if touching floor is false for both of these, like so. If touching floor equals false, then switch the animation to jump left. So now the other question comes, where do we do this? So if we think about this logically, the only time we want the jump left animation to play is when you've got your left key down. Equally, the only time we want jump right to play is when you're pressing the right key. So the only place in the code where we're pressing left and right is here. So if we take our if command, and put it at the bottom of both our move left and move right, we've actually done something really clever. So if we just zoom into this code over here, you can see that when I press left, when left is down, set X velocity to whatever it is, so move left, and we switch the animation to run left. If while you're pressing left, touching floor equals false, in other words, if you're pressing left and you press jump, while you're pressing left, the animation is going to switch to jump left. Equally, we do exactly the same thing on the right hand side. So let's test that out. So here we go, we're going to run. And then when we jump, you can see that the animation switches to the jump, which means it looks a hundred times better now because it really does look like he's jumping now because his legs kind of stand still. So it's a way better result. Now while I'm here, I can see that my jump is a little bit slow. So I'm just going to go and correct that. And if you remember, that was this number here, the 0 0.95. I'm going to turn that to 0 0.96. We'll do our final check. And here we go. So we're just going to do our jump. And that's way better. That's kind of a really cool jump now. He's running and when he jumps, he slows down a little bit, but it feels really natural now.